Hi, I'm Aliyah Hyatt, a licensed marital and family therapist and registered play therapist at the Fellowship Counseling Center. Although I work with people of all ages, I specialize in clinical work with children, teens, families, and adult individuals. Whether you're a seasoned parent, a new mom and dad, a grandparent or caregiver, or maybe you're in the role of leading a kid's athletic team, there's one thing we all have in common, learning to connect with children. Connecting with children by entering their world can be quite the adventure. One filled with moments of wonder, unexpected up and downs, joy and delight. But there can also be many things that challenge our connection to them. Things such as a demanding career, extracurricular activities, relationships with others, and pressures from our external world, and even our internal worlds. If left unchecked, these experiences can become overwhelming and even impact the quality of our presence and overall confidence in parenting. But there is hope, and I believe that underneath all of whatever we have going on is a genuine desire to show up for our kids and provide them with the best that we have to offer. Curious parents are so great to work with, and I'm delighted to meet you here to engage your curiosity as we learn a little bit more about elementary age kids and how we as parents and caregivers can show up for them in this very busy and exciting season of their growth and development. Elementary age kids are roughly between the ages of five and six to 11 and 12, covering the grades of first through fifth or six, depending on their school structure. As you all can attest to, this is a season of life filled with a ton of growth, movement, and change. Physical development, ego development, cognitive development, social emotional learning, and everything in between lights up at this stage, which is why it can be equally exciting and necessary for us to stay connected in relationship with our elementary age kids as much as possible to help anchor, support, and celebrate them through all of this change and growth. A study by Dr. John Santrock mentions that by the end of a child's fifth year, their brain reaches approximately 90% of its fully grown adult size. That's a lot of growing. As a child enters into elementary school, they are provided with many opportunities to meet new friends, engage with teachers, expand their capacity to learn and comprehend new things, and develop problem-solving skills. Here they learn to become more independent in their thoughts, feelings, and actions, and start developing interests in peers and in their own identity formation. They also develop an increased ability to understand and utilize language, which supports them in expressing their feelings and internal states. However, the quality of this expression can be limited if they haven't yet learned to attach words to their thoughts or feeling states. Hence the temper tantrum, and yes, for some, it can still rear its disruptive head during elementary school-aged years. But aside from growth, the security that comes with a connected parent-child relationship is especially important at this stage because it provides the confidence they need to take new risks and explore everything that's available to them at this stage in their growth and development. But one of the things I find most fascinating about the younger kids in this stage is their growing ability to understand the impact of their behaviors on others. Dr. Dee Ray is a child development expert, and her expertise on child development helps us understand some of the important milestones we can observe in relationship with children at this age and stage. It's here around the ages of five and six that a child develops a conscience and begins to apply standards of morality to monitor their behaviors and hopefully avoid negative consequences from others. Five and six-year-olds are transitioning out of a more egocentric, self-focused stage to becoming more aware of others in the impact of their behaviors on someone else's feelings or actions. The brain is becoming more attuned and capable of signaling to them that action might need to be taken if they do something that hurts another. This is huge and such a game changer. But remember, all kids develop at different rates and nature nurture influences can definitely impact how this shows up in children with different childhood experiences and family environments. As we begin to move out of the younger elementary ages to older elementary ages, 
we can typically observe more emotional stability as a result of brain and vocabulary growth, and children are better able to assert themselves in relationships, but also cope with delayed gratification. Here kids move from being more impulsive to having impulses that they're able to control through the development of strategies that help with emotional regulation. Complexities in their relationships occur as well as they move away from one-on-one -on -one connections to connections that include more pairings of friends or groups. Sometimes our relationships with older elementary age kids can begin to feel more relaxed and less demanding as they become less emotionally reactive, but perhaps more moody? Advanced concepts such as forgiveness, perspective taking, and cause and effect begin taking root here, which helps stabilize aspects of their interactions with others. Family connections continue to have an important impact on ego development of middle-aged children, while peer relationships and school achievement become significant influences of personality development. Parents who help kids in this stage develop personal competencies, emotional self-regulation, peer relationships, and a genuine sense of who they are and what they're capable of achieving promotes optimal growth and a supportive learning environment. So parenting a child through this stage may feel like a lot, but there is equally as much to celebrate as you develop a deeper understanding of your child and savor the moments that you share together. Here are a few suggestions of ways to do just that. Maintain a posture of curiosity and become genuinely interested in your child's ideas, thoughts, hobbies, and emotions. Co-discovery is a beautiful concept that can be very applicable here. Express a genuine interest in understanding who they are, what excites them, and discover new ideas, concepts, and skills together through shared play and new experiences. This promotes their learning and builds positive memories of meaningful time with a parent or family. Maybe consider creating family rituals that invite connection. Saturday morning brunches, dates with mom or dad, Friday night pizza and movie night, family bake-offs, game nights, annual fall festival activities. There are so many things that can be built into the rhythms and flows of family life together. These fun activities can create places of respite and stress reduction that help kids unwind and find peace in the simple moments of shared time together. And finally, as we support our elementary aged kids in learning how to engage a busy and growth-oriented season in their development, it becomes equally important to teach them how to stay balanced in the midst of all these new opportunities and responsibilities. Consider resisting the urge to overschedule or pile on too many family engagements throughout the week. Maybe limit electronics, grant permission for the occasional slowdown, and enjoy the serenity of an unplanned day or chill weekend together. You might be surprised by the new discoveries you make as a family when the distractions of a jam-packed life are dramatically reduced and maybe not even readily available. I'll end with what I believe is the most important thing that every child and elementary kid needs to know, and that is that the essence of who they are is precious and irreplaceable in our sight, in the sunshine and the rain, as the late Dr. Karen Purvis once said. Affirming their preciousness sends irreplaceable messages of worth and value that they can hold on to through all of the ups and downs that come with childhood and beyond. If there's an opportunity to support and empower you as you parent your elementary age kid, please reach out to us at the Counseling Center. We would be delighted to walk alongside you on your parenting journey. <music>